What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at one of my most requested videos to date. This is a rather unique video. We're going to be doing a speed test and looking at how important speed and acceleration are. So we are going to be using the training mode in eFootball. So this is why you'll see the stats such as this for a Daman 1990. A Messi is going to be 81 acceleration and 71 speed. So these are the players ratings in the actual game, not Dream Team. So obviously on Dream Team, they're going to be quicker. Um, but look, speed and acceleration are hugely important in Dream Team and obviously most players that play the game or most people that want to be good at the game are going to fill their squads with the fastest players, fastest centre backs. They're not going to be picking Harry Maguire for instance because he's got 64 speed, 56 acceleration. So we're going to be doing a couple of tests right. So the first one is going to be a straight sprint starting in their own half and they're going to be starting in their inside of the box. The minute that the, the ball touches their box here and it crosses the just as it's on the line we're going to start a timer and we're going to go straight in and then we're going to just do a normal r2 um or an rb bumper uh button on the xbox and we're just going to do an r2 sprint the whole length of the pitch and once it crosses over the end line that is going to be the time the finalized time it's split into seconds um and have it as accurate as possible. So we're going to be testing out a range of players. And then we're also going to be looking at some things that can affect this. Because it's not a simplified way of looking at it. Because if you look at Harry Maguire here, right? He's got, as we said, 64 pace. And he's got, obviously, 56 acceleration. So when you look at a player such as Adama Traore, who's got 90 speed and 90 acceleration you would think that there's going to be a world of difference in it. But there's a lot of different thing, a lot of different factors that come into it. So Adama, obviously, it comes into, you know, motion. It comes into player style, their sprint style, their, uh, how far they kick the ball ahead of them. There's a lot of different things. But obviously, Adama is a lot quicker. And you might look at that and think, oh, I thought it'd be a lot quicker than that or a lot more of a discrepancy between him and Maguire. But they're running in a straight line. So we're going to take a look also at double touch sprint. So this is when you double tap the sprint button and you take a bit of a wider Gareth Bale style kind of galloping like he's out as a thoroughbred horse galloping ahead with the ball um, kicking with left foot and right foot trying to get as much space between the player and the ball as possible to give as much you know full-on sprinting as possible but that actually comes out a little bit slower so for the basis of this video we're going to be doing all just normal sprint so I'm going to give you another example here with Mbappe this is his normal sprint so RB R2 the whole way the length of the pitch from end zone to end zone crosses the line and he's got the quickest uh, time to date so that'll be one to watch there in a second because obviously he doesn't have the best stats um that is Adama Traore but there's a lot of different factors that come into it so this is the double touch then as you see it's slightly different running style slightly different way of looking at it now lads if you're playing online you're not going to be able to run the pitch like this like just a straight zone so it it's kind of you know it's a hard test to do um but when you look in at the other players I'm not picking on Buffon I know he's 57 years of age but when we look at Buffon right we're going to start the timer again you can notice the difference in the pace and the way that the player is moving through the pitch. Now, this is running in a straight line. This Every player that runs in this straight line here are going to be the quickest that they possibly can be. So we're going to be doing a load of different tests and a load of advanced tests. This is just kind of an introduction into the series. David Alaba, right? So we're looking at his stats there in Dream Team, his base stats. Now, in the training mode here, his stats are a lot higher. He's going to be a lot quicker. So make sure and you just keep, a, keep, a, keep that uh, in mind while we're doing this video because there's obviously going to be different completely different factors when you're playing dream team this is just kind of like a base on the player's normal rating um you can see here messi is 92 overall as an attack in midfield and he's going to take the challenge on and he's going to bust the gut he thinks he can catch adama or mbappe so he's getting the head up he's looking he's looking and he's seeing can he actually close the gap but you can see here messi's got a slightly different running style just slightly different and he gets close enough but doesn't uh, get the best time so there is a lot of factors, as I said, we'll have a look in a second. Obviously, if you're like with a goalkeeper, right? Navas here, who's one of the slowest, 48 speed this guy has. But again, when he's running in a straight line and he opens up his body and he's like, doesn't have to change position, uh, change direction or stop and accelerate, like all the players are going to have a similar time because obviously the game is, you know, built in a certain way that like all the players are able to run, all the players are able to dribble. Um, even the likes of Ben Yedder, who obviously isn't the quickest player, we're seeing his stats there from Dream Team, obviously are going to be reduced and he's going to be a little quicker in training mode, but his stats are nowhere near Mbappe or Adama Traore's, but his time isn't 
miles away from it. So as I said, there is a lot of different factors that come into it. So we're going to take a quick race here, right? Get your bets in, lads. Mbappe, Sterling, Elanga, and Adama Traore. You can see all their stats there. And we're going to let them loose, right? We're going to let them loose, and we're going to see who finishes up here. Now, there might be a slight, um, a slight discrepancy here or there, but uh, you can see that Mbappe obviously has a bigger touch on the ball in the first couple of touches, and that brings him out into the front, compared to Sterling, keeps the ball a bit closer. And obviously, Mbappe is going to see there at the top of your screen he crosses over the line look how close Adame is Sterling's a little bit behind and then Alang is a little bit behind as well so yeah it makes sense you know because that's what the stats say even though Adame is 90-90 Mbappe's got that speeding bullet and he's also got that different motion that different running motion so if you're playing against somebody online and you're thinking whoa Romario such as example is a good example he's got 89 pace or whatever if you don't if you just boost him up normally you can say damn Romario looks like he's running at 99 speed that can be because of their player style, it can be because of how they run, their dribble style, their animations and all that sort of stuff. So I think most importantly, if you're looking at a player, right, is their acceleration and their speed. So the next video is going to focus on this. You can see here, I'm just testing out Neymar, Adama and Messi at the end as well. And you'll see the stop and turn, you know, the tricks, the linking of the moves, the acceleration, stop, move, change direction, shift your body position, um, you know, turn 180 with a flick of, the, flick of the ball, and then you're gone again. So Neymar is one of the best acceleration accelerators in the game. And you can see here that he's covering serious distance, turning all over the pitch. Look at that for a sharp turn, and he's straight back into a full-on sprint and gone again. So if you've got Neymar on the wing and you're wondering why he's absolutely destroying people, this is why. He's got serious acceleration. That's not truly apparent when you look at his stats compared to somebody like Adama Traore. Messi is similar. Messi covers a lot of ground because of his style. And you can see here, he stops, he bursts away, and he's gone away again. You can see here, I'm just kind of messing around, trying to slow things down, change direction, make it as awkward as possible to see his acceleration. But as I said, lads, there's a lot of different factors that we're going to get into in this. But let me know in the comments below. I have a couple of other fun videos coming that will look at this in a couple of different races. So it is a bit of a unique series that we are going to be doing get your bets in and we'll have a bit of a crack with it but yeah let me know who else you would like to see because there's a lot of players that i have done keep an eye out for future episodes if you want me to test anything else let me know as well but yeah speed and acceleration are hugely important but it comes down to what i showed there in the last 30 seconds minute of that clip of this video is the acceleration of stop start stop start if you want to take this online you're not going to be running in a straight line so the next test that we do are going to be like kind of shuttle runs and stuff like that but yeah, this is what V1.1 has done to us, lads. We've uh, we've we've got to find uh, we've got to find ways of kind of testing things out and and looking at giving ourselves the advantage online. So yeah, I hope this answers a lot of your questions and leaves you hanging for a few more that we will be going into in more advanced episodes. But until next time, lads, have a good one. Mind each other. Peace.